When you live in London, you, you don't see this every day. We are at the Scotney Castle today. So we're going to do our like, weekend walk. We have been to Scotland Castle before. I think maybe it was two years ago. It's one of the places I have always wanted to come. The first time when I heard about Scotland Castle was through this program, Sky Landscape Artists of the Year. This is one of the locations they were filming. It was absolutely stunning. So we have to check it out. It's around an hour and a half drive from London, but it's definitely worth it. I think today we're going to do the same, we're going to do the wider estate walk, then go to the garden. Hello. Look at your eyes. Oh, so beautiful. Oh, that's amazing. Does he want to go out? Oh. We got hills ahead us. and remember last video I said I would try to be a little bit fitter, healthier by cycling half the way to work but clearly it doesn't, it hasn't take, it hasn't worked very well yet. We have this big hill to climb and uh, whew, need to catch my breath now. This is actually my favorite bit, like walking in the woods. It's lovely. It's quite quiet in this part. It's really nice. The trail itself actually very clearly signposted. Just follow the right poles and the number. Now we are follow the orange signpost, which go to the hop farm. And I remember last time that was the first time I actually see what the hop is. I think it's a thing making the brew, beer. Thing making the beer, is it? Help actually make beer. I think also to give beer that more that bitter taste. And only female plants have the flowers. September is also the harvest season.
I was reading one of the signs saying back in days the hop picker will normally work like 10 hours. That's a bit hard work. <laughs> I was just with that one break. That's uh, where they dry the hops and before they send it to the brewery. You need to book tickets to visit National Trust properties, even the members. We go for the first early slot, which is 10 o'clock. The journey does feel a little bit longer compared to some of the places we have visited, but it's definitely worth it. I'm really looking forward to see the garden uh, again because it was just absolutely stunning. As usual, we go to get a tea and coffee in the cafe. You do need to wear in the face mask though when you go in to order the food. I had my usual things, um, cream tea. All the food is pre-packed in a little box. There's so many like a sheep poop all over the place. We try to dodge them, but it's nearly impossible. It's a big mix of the horse poop and the sheep poop. Many poops. <laughs> oh, I guess it's better than dog poop. <laughs> Look, the view, it was absolutely amazing. And there's a horse right walking towards me. I don't know. Look. I was a bit scared, to be honest, because you never know that if they're going to attack me or whatever. Uh, but it's quite cool to see that all this animal quite close. They just sat behind me, mind their own business. And uh, they're such beautiful creatures, horses. It's absolutely stunning. The view is just so good. I know it's just big field and cloud and trees and uh, blue sky. When you live in London, you, you don't see this every day, right? So I kind of really, really appreciate that being in the country. Imagine that riding bicycle here. That would be like super amazing. We are back at the car park and cafe shop now. I think we're going to go into the ground where the house and the garden is.
After we finish the ice cream and work out, the queue for the ice cream is that super super long. I guess everybody has sold the sign and that signage clearly works. Everybody wants to help out, help them to do the conservation work. From these few points, you can see the old Scotsman castle there. When they built the new house at 1830, the owner decided to make the old castle that part of the landscape, make it feel like a ruin. Imagine live here, it's amazing. It's at 3.37, um, just back to the car and ready to go home now. It has been a really long day out, I think five, five hours or so. We've also been to the shop and they kind of operate like sort of a one-way system, but well, if people follow it or not, that's another matter. It's really nice day though, I'm really glad we came out and uh, really enjoy it. They tell us to eat the ice cream to help out, so we did. I had a honeycomb and the strawberry cream, so two scoops. It's very nice though, very nice ice cream. <laughs>